Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Nelson here and in today's video we are going over something that should be used by every crypto investor or anyone that holds crypto altogether and that is a hardware wallet. Now specifically I'm talking about the Ledger Nano S Plus as that is the, uh, the hardware wallet that I do have and I do recommend this one. Uh, there are other hardware wallets out there but this is all that I can talk about as I have no idea what the other ones are like. So I'm focusing on the ledger, but you can use multiple, like there's a, an abundance of hardware wallets out there from different brands. Um, some of them have different features. So I'm going to go over that with you today and just let you guys know the importance of using a hardware wallet because right now in the DeFi space, it is insane. The market is completely down due to, you know, factors that are out of our control. Uh, but not only that, there are a lot of DeFi projects that are just scamming hard. People are out there to rip each other off. So a hardware wallet will really save you from uh, being exposed, like exposing all your crypto to people taking it from you. So with that said, we're going to jump straight into it. I'm going to run over the website uh, for the ledger and then I'm going to explain what the Nano S does and why I think it's one of the best ones that they have. They do have a, an upgraded version, but I, I haven't tried that one out yet. I do intend to buy that one in the future, but for now I'm going to run with the Nano S Plus. All right, so just on the website here at Ledger. So this is for the Ledger Nano S Plus. Again, this is the Ledger that I do have. I actually have two Ledgers. Uh, I have the Nano S, which is the one before that, and the Nano S Plus, which is the upgraded version. It's kind of in the middle. They do have a top tier one, which is the Nano X. Um, but I don't have that one. I haven't tried it before, so I can't really say anything about that. But you can compare all three on the website. But today we're just going to talk about the Nano S Plus, as I believe that's the best one for people who don't want to spend a lot of money on um, a crypto wallet, which if you really are into crypto spending, you know, a hundred bucks, it sh shouldn't be a problem uh, to keep all your crypto safe. So with the first one, the Nano S, which is what I have here, uh, this one you could only hold really maybe up to five coins, depending on how, how big um, the apps were that you would download onto this, uh, just because of the size not physical but internal and uh, also you can't put nfts or anything on here so this is just like one of the first ones that came out uh, but with the nano s you can hold a lot more uh, on the on the ledger and also nfts and stuff like that so so with that said with the size you can manage over about five and a half thousand digital assets so up to 100 apps installed now if you think about it ethereum you can hold uh, a whole bunch of uh, coins inside just the ethereum because they don't like a lot of coins don't really have apps for themselves, uh, just the major ones. So uh, you've got a whole lot, you know, Chainlink, Bitcoin, Compound, Cosmos. There's a whole list of obviously over five and a half thousand digital assets there. You can hold your NFTs on there safely as well. Um, it's a nice, smoother experience. It's a lot better than the first one. So the buttons and everything like that, the screen's larger lot more things to do in the menu which is good and it comes to 79 euro i don't know how much that is in us dollar not sure i'm in europe so you guys can figure that out for yourselves so here you can also compare it with the nano x uh, which is very similar to uh, what, what it can do but the only other thing is that it can do bluetooth connection so you can run it off your mobile phone as well so that's a big that's a big thing there so but the nano x is very popular uh, and also the nano s plus is very popular as well so that's just uh, the newer model that they have there. Um, another thing about Ledger, which I really do enjoy, is uh, the fact that they have uh, a really nice app. Like the UI in the app is really, really good. Um, very easy to, to work around and stuff like that. You can track all your crypto assets here in the portfolio, oh, sorry, in the market there. Uh, building, so you can build up your knowledge for the crypto space. They have a whole learning platform on there. Um, you can buy and sell crypto on there. You can swap crypto on there. You can stake crypto. Like there's so much you can do within this app. Uh, you can manage all your all your tokens there and everything like that, NFTs and everything. So, and you have access to a whole lot of things inside the app. There's a whole lot of features in there that you can go through and have a look. It's a really good, really good design. I like it. Uh, let's play this little video for you. And um, yeah, like I think it's really great. Uh, you can do a whole lot with it and you, it, everything is secure. So the thing with a hardware wallet, if you don't know about it already, so basically all your coins are on the blockchain. They're not in your MetaMask wallet or anything like that. They stay on the blockchain, right? But people can access uh, your, your wallets if you're not careful. So the thing with a ledger, 
is that they can't access the, you, they just cannot access your coins. You have to physically press these buttons to make transactions to do anything. So, and that's pretty cool. I, I, I feel safe using that. Uh, as soon as I got into crypto, I basically got a hardware wallet just because um, I didn't want to be scammed or anything like that. I didn't want to get hacked. So I didn't want to lose all my, all my crypto and my money. So I chose to go the hardware wallet route. A lot of people don't. Um, they run without hardware wallets. Even today, there are still people just getting scammed out there just because they don't know the knowledge. Like they haven't built up their knowledge base about crypto yet and uh, and how you can actually get scanned. So a uh, scam, sorry. So uh, yeah, that's something that people need to do. You need to build up your knowledge of crypto. Um, and if you go onto their website here, they have a whole Ledger Academy. It's full of information about crypto. Or here, they've got series about cryptos here. Uh, they got podcasts, they got everything on there. Everything is on the app. So I really do recommend that you guys go and check out um, the, the, the Ledger website. And even if you don't buy anything, you can still use their platform to learn about crypto. Uh, they have a YouTube channel, everything like that. So this is not sponsored by Ledger. I'm just, I just really like Ledger, you know, and uh, I wanna give out as much valuable information to you guys as I can. So I, I will make a full on Nano S Plus tutorial about how to use this thing, store NFTs, everything, send, buy, sell, swap, all that I'll do. I'll make a big video about that for you guys. Um, but I just wanna make this quick one here about this, uh, about using a hardware wallet. I think it's like, I think it's a, a must, especially right now uh, where DeFi really is not that safe. So just want you guys to be careful out there. There are other brands, don't get me wrong. There's Trezor. Um, and there's some other ones that are like I've never heard of, but they just keep popping up ever since I started looking up hardware wallets. So, <laughs> but there's heaps out there, guys, and a lot of people recommend um, other ones. Some people don't even like Ledger just because I'm not too sure why. Uh, but and, and I'm not saying this one's going to be for you, but the you know, Trezor could be for you or all the other ones. Uh, but you have to do your research about that. But I'm just saying that this one here uh, for me is top tier. I love it. So I have a link uh, for you guys if you just want to get a little discount. Uh, I'll put it down below and um, yeah, I think I get a kickback from that as well. So it's up to you guys if you want to use it, you don't have to, but I'll put it down in, in the description below. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to, as I said, I'll make a dedicated video to uh, the Nano S Plus and I might do a few more videos about Ledger just because I really enjoy um, using their platform and, uh, and their services and their products. So, uh, but that, that's something that will come in the future. Thanks for watching guys. If you did like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not. And if you guys got any questions, man, write them in the comments. I'll get back to you and answer as best I can. So thanks again, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See you.